What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Game of the Day here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm excited, and I hope you are, because we're taking on the fourth totem today. So I'm a little nervous, but it's okay. We handle that nerves well. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a quick team recap for you all, because the team has changed a little bit, unfortunately, as we have Jonas, the level 28, um, Gardar with SmackDown, Liquidation, Magnitude, and low kick i taught most of the team liquidation because they're all physical attackers we definitely need to have some special attackers on this team because of the the real really 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 bad um physical or like you know what i mean anyway we got pop up the two cannon with refrigerator's ability dizzy punch liquidation x scissor and Diz, uh play rough we have sandy with liquidation headbutt Moonblast and Dragon Claw with the weak armor ability. We have uh, Daddy the Machamp with Storm Throw, Brick Break, Liquidation, and Cotton Guard. And we got Zayden with Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak, Steamroll, and Waterfall. But what I'm talking about is our entire team is built and comprised of physical attackers. So any form of like defensive Pokemon in a totem is going to just destroy. It's going to take names and take lives. And that's kind of what I'm worried about because we do have a totem today. And. You know, it's not like it's a slouch of totem either. It's literally the mid-game totem. It's the fourth totem of the game. It's going to be level 26. <sighs> Definitely reasons for my nerves to be spiking right now. Um, But we're going to be talking to... I almost gave away who this person is going to be in uh, Season 3 of Cage Lock. But we're going to be talking to Mallow. As Mallow, I really... I just... Uh, I really hope your, to that your totem is an ice type. I hate saying it like that, but if your totem is an ice, rock, or ground type, we're solidified. If not, we might be in a world of hurt. Any physically defensive mon is going to be a problem. Um, and I'm just, whew, like, if it's a psychic type, we're in trouble. Um, if literally, a psychic type would be the worst. Mega Mewtwo X, bet. Um, no, honestly, ah, just don't, don't be a psychic type. Uh, like now that I say that out loud, that is, that is by far the worst type we'd be going against right now. So I definitely just put some bad juju in the universe as that's what we're about to go against. Ooh, but anyway, um, how are you guys been? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, I really like to know how you guys are doing, what's going on. How's life treating you? Hopefully well. Um, but yeah, it's I'm definitely scared of this totem. Um, but I also get to be excited because I get to record like part of my scripted video. Um, so it'll be exciting. <laughs> it'll be very, 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 very exciting. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to go about it though because technically I might need to include like parts of this video. But I also don't think that's a good idea because then it's spoiling. I don't know. I don't know. Like, hmm. well, you know, actually, you know what I could do is I could flash the screen. Have you ever had a mega Pokemon and then you get upset by a stupid totem and then it becomes a not mega Pokemon? I, you know, I'm just assuming that the totem is going to be terrible. But again, because like. It wouldn't make sense if the totem's easy, you know? Like, I have to do the video when the totem is going to be difficult. Because, you know what I just realized? That this totem, you can actually... I'm doing the totem wrong, technically. Am I technically doing the totem wrong? I'm curious. Can I ride Stoutlin? I think this is how I'm supposed to be doing this totem. Unless I'm not supposed to be doing the totem this way, but I think this might be the actual way that I'm supposed to do the totem. Oopsies!
Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not starting your trial over. I'm just going to steal the big root then. I didn't do that. I wasn't doing the totem wrong. I thought I was doing the totem wrong. But nope. You are forced to take them from the animals. That pseudo is going to be like, what? Fight me, pseudo -Wudo. You won't. Um, no, he totally will. And it'll be like a blast voice or something that we can't handle. And it'll be great. Um, but we're going to make some mellow soup. Who's ready for some mellow soup? I'm ready. We got to put the chicken stock in there. We got to swirl it all up. We got to get some veggies because you all know you have to eat some vegetables if you're having soup. You can't have just plain old noodles. You got to get some carrots, some celery, some good for you food. You know it. Um, oh, geez, that sounds so good. Sad. Like, funny enough, I just, like, thought of that. I, we always, at my house, right? We always have chicken soup. So there's, and it's so good. Like, it's unbelievably good. And I just thought about that in my head. Oh, Dizzy Punch comes in handy here. Let's go! Papa having refrigerate actually helped us for once in our life. What the frick? Like, you know, there's first times for everything, and the refrigerate ability helping us is definitely one of those firsts. Um, but, yeah, so it's kind of funny that my brain just automatically went to the chicken soup. Any, like, just because I love it so much. It's like got shredded chicken. Um, yeah, it's really good. Um,. Okay, that just blew that Rowlet out of the way. It was like, by the way, uh, Rowlet, you're an easy mofo. Who's just gonna die? So. All right, let's put the mitt. Uh, oh, wait. Next up is the honey. Well, the honey is gonna be the confet, and the confet is actually not gonna be that much of a problem either. Hopefully, hopefully we destroy the confet. It's a, oh God. Remember when we said we don't want psychic types? Oh, gross. That's a, actually a freaking Based of a psychic type as well. So that's not like an easy one. Although, you know, I was saying that I don't want a psychic type, and then I realized Papa actually is very, very helpful in this regard because Papa has X Scissor. And with Papa's a massive freaking attack stat, it doesn't even matter. Um, like, literally, this will Oko. Like, it, this should Oko because it's not a very powerful Pokemon um, defensively, but physically, it's a freaking monster. So, luckily that gets out code, uh, but that's a good thing to think about is hopefully, but hopefully something that um, Jonas is super effective against, because that would be very, very helpful. Um, although, I wish I could rearrange my team, but I'm not going to be able to. I should have thought about that before going into the, doing the trial stuff. Um, but, I guess, you know what? We live with our mistakes, and, you know, that was one of them. Suda Wudo, if I saw Suda Wudo coming and running at me, I'd just give it a big hug. Oh, God. Okay, pal. Please don't tell me that this is what the totem's about to be. Is that the totem is straight up gonna be a freaking. I. Oh, that's gonna be hecka scary. Like a freaking Palkia. Oh, you just turned me into water type. Thank you. Thank you for making it so that your stab doesn't isn't super effective anymore. I'm so happy about that. that actually is very helpful. Wow. John. Of course. We get the crit. On the anger point Pokemon. The anger point Pokemon. We're about to get fucking blown back. Oh, actually we're not. Okay. Twister's fine. Or we get flinched. Oh boy. We're gonna get we're still gonna get blown back. Watch, it's gonna happen. Sand tomb. That's physical, isn't it? I think that's physical. Oh, that's totally physical. Kill, 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 kill. Oh my god, you lived on one. Oh no! Oh gosh. Oh no. You lived on one. And now we're trapped. Um I think I've gotta use my full restore. I have to, right? Like, there's no way I can't. Because the Super Potion will only heal 60, which is not enough damage. Ah! 
Not good. Sandtomb has a good chance at missing, though. Okay, so it does about 60 damage unless it crits. Um, Sandtomb won't hit Papa. So once we get freed from the Sandtomb, we should probably go into Papa. Um, or let it use Twister and then we win. Okay. Oh, or no, we're still in the Sandtomb. So technically... I don't know. I'm gonna play it safe. You know what? I'm you. Everybody knows I'm John. I literally ha I will play it safe ten times out of ten, and not lose a Pokemon. Even though if we lose Jodas, then Nick the French Maid will be able to go onto our squad. Oh God! Priority Aqua Jet. That's gonna hurt. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's not very effective. Oh thank God. Um, that still hurt. I'm still not freed from the Sand Tomb. Why do we have to anger point? Like, this moveset is trash. But, of course, we literally anger pointed the one Pokemon. Or we crit the one Pokemon with anger point. Because, and it becomes, like, a thousand times more of a struggle. Which scares me for the freaking Totem. Because the to I just, like, if the Totem, be like, has anger point and we crit that, then that's a problem. Um, mm, like... That doesn't give me a confidence booster if that's what you're not trying to do here. We should get freed from the sand tomb. There we go. I'm going into Papa. Papa's the only Mon that doesn't get hit by sand tomb. Um, and I'm hoping that you try and trap. Because Papa shouldn't get hit by sand tomb. Because it's ground. Or sand tomb rock. The freaking predictions. Gosh, diggity darn it. Okay. Let's let's do some defense stat comparisons here. Um, Cause I know that Jonas ain't faster. Or that Jonas is faster than Papa. Um So I'm gonna do some defense stat comparisons. 42 in comparison to 54. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. We're eleven oh boy. Is 42 going to be fast enough? No. it's pro It won't be. There's no way. You suck again. Thank you. You were predicting the swap. I'm so happy. Uh, we killed Palkia. I'm so glad it predicted the swap. Um, makes sense um, that it was trying to predict a swap after it, I was calculating. Oh, thank you. That doesn't get rid of my nerves at all. But still, it we're out of one battle. Jonas wants to use Circle Throw. No. Circle Throw is trash. Um, it won't work for the totem. I wish I could just yeet the totem away, but it doesn't work. The totem is grounded. So. And finally, it is finished with one last pinch of my super secret weed spice. Okay. Mallow, I see you giving weed to 10-year-olds. I don't think that's allowed. Um... Uh, this unique... Oh, God. Ah, don't be bad. Like, ah. Uh, my heart... If you if you could see my heart right now... Like, because you can't... My heart is freaking racing. Like, I want to have that, though. Like, where you can see my heart right when I'm doing this stuff. Like, ah. Uh. Okay. It's a pretty thick mon. Speed plus two. Oh, that makes Kariyama. That does make Kariyama a little bit of a threat. But... A fighting type. What's what's sad, right? Is technically this mon isn't though. This is probably one of the easiest totems that we've had, Pokemon wise. And I'm saying Pokemon wise because if you compare the totems that we've had, Cafagrigas, uh, Nihilego, and Verizion. I personally believe they're all better than this thing. But we're in a situation that is hindering us. Uh, we lost Fionn, so we lost our Sacklon.
Low kick would do a decent chunk of damage, but I don't know what this thing has move-wise. And that could be a very big differentiator between whether or not this is a very good Pokemon or not. Luckily, its speed was the thing that rose. And so with its speed being the thing that rose, I'm not as threatened as if, if it was like defense or something like that. So it's not going to be... Oh, fuck. It's got healing. It heals itself. Mudsdale. Oh, that's a physical wall. Mm. So it has the ability to heal itself. I definitely have to prioritize the Hariyama. But I really have nothing to prioritize the Hariyama with, and that's the issue. Um, okay, that does more than half. As long as Drill One does not kill me, which it shouldn't. Oh boy. Um That becomes death number 4 of the series. Oh my god, we're starting to we're we're at that point of the game, guys, where it it gets real. Um like the first totem, the first island is nothing. We're we're fi we finally hit that point where this game is going to be tough. Um, I'm gonna go into Zayden. Cause Zayden is definitely faster than Jonas. I had to, like, I kinda, I don't know. Uh, oh shoot, no, that thing is a plus speed. Oh god. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I, I knew that plus speed was gonna come into a factor. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Uh, I'm gonna play it like. I'm gonna play it as if I'm faster, but if I'm not, that's a problem. Okay, I'm not. Okay, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, where Drain Punch is kind of a little bit of a butt, but. Hariyama's down. And then we blow back this, uh, Mudsdale. Why are totems so freaking dangerous? I mean, I... Because John is because you programmed them to be dangerous. I know! I'm not stupid. Oh, my God. I definitely need to go to the Pokemon Center because that would be a spoiler for today's episode uh, if I were to record the uh, thing that I was going to record. Um... So, we're not doing some spoilers today. We're going to go ahead and... Jeez, all these episodes, you guys are going to be like, why are your episodes so short? And I'm going to be like, just because I'm hitting the objectives faster than I assumed that I would. Like, that's literally it. That is not even a lie. Like, I just am hitting the objectives way faster than I could have ever really thought. Um, But we got the Grass Z. We get to figure out what Gen 5 Mon we can add, because at least we have backups for Jonas, but... Oh boy. Like, what's scary, guys, is we have the Olivia trial, right? So we still have like half this island still to go. Um, on top of the fact that after Olivia, it's a guaranteed legendary totem. So we're definitely not out of the woods, and that's. That's big scary. Not be like you would think that I wouldn't be that hard on myself. You're wrong. Like, I'm gonna make things way difficult because I love the challenge, but ugh. It makes these episodes really stressful in a good way. In a very good way. He's gonna give me a TM and please don't tell me it's something like a good watch it be a good fighting move and I'm gonna be pissed. Don't be a good fighting move. Okay, it was just a trash move in general. Thank you. Um I was going to say, if you were going to be a great fighting move, I would have been a little pissed. Um, no, but this is what makes me excited for Season 3 of Cage Log. Uh, is that these totems are not going to be easy. And Aaron and I are going to have to work together while being against each other. Um, and it's going to create like a fun dynamic. Um, 
luckily for us... Oh, shoot. Okay, luckily for us, I can easily walk around and go ahead and head to where I need to go um, for the next... Oh, wait, John. Remember, you had fly. You legitimately had fly. Good job. Um. Oh, that's so sad seeing Jonas dead. Like, oh wait, fly is not on. I'm too busy playing the shiny lock. I mean. Oh, okay. I did. A, I did a good thing. Oh, please don't tell me we fight how here. You don't fight how here. There's no way. Thank you. Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way you fight Hal right now. It's just an intermittent cutscene. And luckily, it, it, that's exactly what it is. Is It's just an intermittent cutscene. Before... We head to the research lab, which I'm gonna do in the next episode. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Today's episode was very scary in a lot of ways. Um, another death. This is the first time in the gen lock that we've had consecutive deaths in episodes. Uh, which is kind of a... It's definitely weird. So, we kind of get to decide who's going to be on the team now. Um, so we've got Gothita. Which I don't know when Gothita evolves. So let me check. Because we're going to have to get her to level 28. So, if she evolves late, then that's a problem. When does Gothita evolve? Gotharita. What level does Gothita evolve? According to Bulbapedia, Bulba Garden, it evolves into Gotharita starting at level 32, which evolves into Gothitelle starting at level 41. 32. Okay. What level does Yamask evolve? Hmm. So, we can either have a Pokemon that evolves at level 32. It's got stall. You evolve at level 40. Ah, oh, boy. I don't even know who's better. Like, team-wise? Like, honestly, Gothitelle sounds like a better Mon team-wise. Because, what, that gives me a Psychic typing. And then I'm still in limbo to see if I can get any non-Psychic type or any Gen 4 or 6. I think that's the biggest issue is I'm in limbo, right? So, I don't necessarily know what's going to be best for my team. Because, like... In a normal circumstance, I'd be like, okay, let's pull Mega Mewtwo out of the box. And then that leaves me a slot open for, like, Mighty Enna or something like that. Or probably um, the Ninetales, because I know it has Beast Boost. Um, or Decidueye. Or, like, there's a lot of options. And my box is great for a normal Nuzlocke. But for a Genlock where I can only have one Pokemon per generation, I literally have three to choose from. And they're not going to evolve. Ugh! Um, You can tell the fit of rage that I'm in right now. Because I like... There's obvious answers in here. But... I'm going to go ahead. And go ahead. And I wanted the French maid. We're going to get the French maid. On the team. Um, Nick. Welcome to this party. Um, I won't do the layout change. But... Because you have stall. You have a terrible ability. So, you know, But you'll get rid of that when you evolve. So let's hope that when you evolve, you'll just be fantastic. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to be recording anymore today. So I'm going to go ahead and put Zayden in the box like you're supposed to. Um, and I'll make that video later. Uh, but thank, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I really do appreciate it. We're getting so close to 700. It's kind of wild. Um, but I love you all. Peace.